the hybrid per se you make a minimum of 10 bucks go so as high as 700 yeah the maximum it went so far is 700 hello guys welcome back to startup gh my name is Ketel michael um in today's video we are going to speak to a gentleman who is doing kakumba production if this is your first time don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe see you uh, my name is Adolf Havayate. I grow cucumber, as you can see. Okay. Green pepper, tomato, watermelon, cabbage. So, on the same field? No, on different fields. Different fields. Yeah. How long have you been doing the farm? From my childhood days, I started with my dad. So, personally, I do my. I started my own two years ago. Okay. But even with my own, I still work with my dad, so I do my own part time. Then my dad is on. Educate us on um, cucumber production. Is it profitable? Yeah, cucumber is profitable because um, you don't need much to start it. Yeah, it doesn't take much money. If by the grace of God, market goes well, you make your money. So, can you please walk us through the land preparation? With the land preparation, uh, depending on the land you get, when the land is that kind of land that it has been used already, you need to put in manure. Then, after that, you plow it. Or, you plow, then you add manure. Then, you do your sowing. Plowing, currently, an acre is 300 cities. An acre. Okay. Yeah. So after plowing, uh, which manure do you use? We use uh, cow dung uh -huh. or that of the chickens. Do you buy those? Yeah, we buy them. How much do you buy them? Uh, with the chicken droppings, currently uh, a sack, they put it in the engine sack. Yeah. One goes for 20 cities. How many do you need for an acre? You need about approximately when you get like uh, 60 sacks will be okay. How, how how many acres are you doing? This is half. This is half. How many did you use? This one I didn't apply. You didn't apply? Yeah. Okay. Why? Uh, because the time that I think I actually I didn't plan to come and work on the land so it become like something quick okay. and you have to order okay. for the manure before they bring it so okay. if i should be waiting for that you know it will delay my process, delay your process. Yeah. okay so after the land preparation is done what do you need uh, after the land preparation you need your seed your seed yeah your fertilizer then other inputs okay uh, talking about seed how many varieties do we have? Uh, the varieties we have a lot. Okay. So I can just mention a few that I know. Okay. We have the local one that we normally use. How do you call the local? The local one the, uh, we don't have any name for okay. it. We just refer to it as the local one. Then we have the hybrid. Okay. With the hybrid I can talk of uh, Sakata. This is Sakata Daku. Okay. Yeah, this is what? Sakata. Okay. Yeah. The variety is Daku. Daku. Okay. Yeah. Then we have Darina. Okay. We have Tokyo. Okay. Yeah, we have others. We have a lot. Why do you choose so, this? Yeah. Uh, this special variety, uh, this is the first time I'm doing it, but the, the dealer of the seed made me understand that it is more advanced than the other ones, the Tokyo, the Murano, and the other. Yeah, it yields and it lasts also than those ones. Do you nest them? Or, or do you oh, 
We saw it directly. We saw it directly. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a special measurement you use? With the measurement here, no. We don't have any special measurement because we don't go by the pure agric method where you use la uh, rows to yes. to strengthen up your lines. No, we we so don't. How did you plan? Because I've seen that it's, it's it's in line. Yeah, somebody that comes may see it's in line because I've been into the work for long, mm -hmm. and we also use lines in doing some so. It become easy for me, and when you come to my farm, you may think I've used the the the, the line, but no. How much did you buy the seed? The seed is in sachets, so this is it, uh, five sachets. One costs um, hundred and sixty cities. Yeah, we have a thousand pieces of seed in each sachet. Uh, yeah. What, five? Yeah. Yeah, which is 800 cities, you know. Just half an acre. Yeah. Hey, so if you are doing one acre, that means like 1,000. Yeah. Wow. And even with this, depending on your spacing, this is my spacing, and you get, you see that there is space in it. So depending on your spacing that you use, you determine the number of sachets you use. Okay. Yeah. I can see that your own is well spaced, like this. I can count like two feet. Yeah. Uh, I prefer spacing my things well because you, the, when you space it like this, there is good aeration. Like air will pass through well. And the product too will look good. How many days before you see it germinating? It takes five days. Five days. Yeah. Five days. Then yeah. It, it will start germinating. Okay. After that five days, what do you do? Uh, a week later, we give fertilizer okay. uh, to boost the growth. What fertilizer are you using? We give the NPK fertilizer. Yeah. Any NPK? Yeah, any NPK. Yeah. What? So is it 20, 20 or 15, 15? It depends. There are some we buy 20, 20, 15, 15 or 20, 10, 10. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, any of them we use. Yeah. Okay. What, what? Why do you apply the fertilizer? We apply the fertilizer to boost the growth, to make it grow faster. Yeah. Okay. So after fertilizer application, what next? After fertilizer application, if you are using the irrigation, then when you apply fertilizer, in two or three days time, you have to water. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, the next. Then you spray. Yeah. What do you spray? We, we spray insecticide to do, to deal with the insects that attacks it. Then other foliar, we, the liquid ones for for the growth of the leaf to make the leaf. That is after grow. how many weeks? That is. You know, we, we are taking it step by step. You okay. said after one week, spray fertilizer. So what do you, when are you doing the, the spray? The spraying again? The Is it after the one week or the second week? From the second week, you start doing your spray. You start doing your spray. Yeah. Okay. If there is insect attack, you spray insecticide. But make sure you spray fungicide, because the cucumber, no? or fungi do disturb it. So when you spray fungicide, you know, it makes the leaves stronger. Uh -huh. So that's why you have to spray fungicide. It's very important in a cycle of cucumber. I see that this is a creeping plant. So, uh, um, how do you control weeds inside? Normally when it's coming with weed, uh, when it starts entering into each other, when it starts forming, yeah. then you have to make sure you do all weeding before it starts forming. Uh, to allow it to have it grow fairly. So we did for how many times have we needed? Uh, uh, you see some part, those part there are not bushy. That, uh, this, that is the second time. I'm here to weed this side. So it is the second time I'm weeding. It depends on the land. Some lands you only weed for one thing. 
that would be all. But this very land, it grow bush very quick. Every week, every week or week and a half, you have to spray. You spray what? You spray foliar. Foliar? Yeah. What does the foliar do? The foliar makes, that it, has a, it boosts the growth. The growth. Yeah. What foliar are you using? Uh, currently, I'm using Mazike. Yeah. What's so special about that one? The the mazike it it makes the flowers come. Okay. Yeah, and then the multi K. Okay. The multi K makes the leaves grow well. This is the second time I'm spraying. Yeah. How many weeks now? It is five weeks now. This very cucumber there. There, are, there is no much disease that attack it apart from the fungi that will attack it. Uh, the leaves will become yellow. Yeah, that is the major thing that worries it. Aside that, then when it's flowering, if there is insufficient water, that you see that the cucumber will be burning. The best time to grow cucumber, I would say, in the cool weather that is July that way. Uh, when you grow in July, the weather will be cool, so it makes your it makes you have good yield. What about hot weather and you have irrigation? Those ones too, they are cool. With the hot weather, you see a lot of people they don't grow. So when you grow it in the hot weather and you take care of it, you make money. That's the only thing. But it doesn't go it doesn't grow for long. The challenges you have, you know, like when there is insufficient water, they, they have to be burning. That's one challenge. And then marketing. When it comes to the marketing, too, there are moments where it will be common in marketing. A full sack will be sold for uh, even 50 cities. Yeah, there is demand. There come moments where customers will be calling for it. Yeah. So, there is demand. When the time comes, there is high demand for it. So you have done it before. You know the season, the off season, and the bumper season. Um, within which month um, is cucumber very expensive? Like June, like this. Yeah. Sometimes June you get market. June, July you get market, and then October that way. September, October too. You get when you have a grown cucumber. I want to you make market. What about at the Hamatan season? The, January, February, January. Uh yeah, when it's ready January January, February to school. But you realize that when you grow it uh like November that way, you know. Yeah, the Hamatan will worry but so it doesn't really do well. Ah, so maybe later December the year when you grow it to do well and you make your market too. Yeah. So January to school. What is the yield um, for let's say this size half an acre? Half an acre with the hybrid per se, you make a minimum of ten bucks. Ten bucks. Yeah. For half an acre. For yeah. Half for acre. yeah with the hybrid. But are you referring to one acre? Half acre. Half acre. Yeah, like this one. You can make. Ten. Yeah, you can make like ten bucks. How many times do you have it? No, after maturity. Okay, uh, you have it like you have it twice a week, so it will take a maximum of three weeks. And after maturity, which yeah. is uh, one and a half months. Yeah. You can start harvesting. Yeah. Harvest two times. times and you can harvest it for three weeks. Three That's weeks. maximum. That maximum. Yeah. That means in the life one you're harvesting like six times. Yeah. Does it reduce or it keeps increasing? Let's say today you get two bags. The next week are you going to get more bags? Yeah. Normally over here because we harvest it and the days two are not equal. Uh -huh. Because of the difference in the days we harvest, we have the the, the 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 it affects the number of sacks 
in the harvesting. So over here we harvest on Wednesdays, Wednesdays and Sundays. So you realize that when you harvest on Wednesday and you harvest on Sunday, within this period it's short. It's shorter than from Sunday to Wednesday. Uh -huh. So that's when you have different in the quantity. Yeah. Wednesday you might have more bags, but from Sunday, Sunday to, to Wednesday you have more bags. Yeah, then from done from Wednesday to Sunday. Okay. Yeah. So how much is the bag? Currently, I lent is three hundred cedis. Three hundred Yeah. Is that the highest you can go? No, you can go as high as. 700, yeah. The maximum it went so far is 700. That was when last year? Or this year? Just this year. I think about last month. Uh, yeah, within last month. Okay. Yeah. So looking at this and comparing the outputs and inputs, um, is it profitable? Yeah, it's, it's profitable. So we are seeing uh, on this more What did they estimate? How much can we invest into it? Um, depending on the seed, because the seeds are expensive and you grow different varieties. But this one per se, you know, I'm likely to invest about thousand five before harvesting. Yeah. Okay. Wait, your seed alone is more than this. It's, it's, it's eight hundred. Yeah, from there, you no. Know, okay. So the most expensive thing here now will be the siege. Okay. Uh -huh. It's supposed to be more than the amount I've mentioned, but because there has been rains, we're holding water. Uh -huh. It has reduced the cost. Uh -huh. So let's see. Yeah, there might be a mistake in my estimation. So you will, you will be looking at roughly over I'll be spending like two thousand. Yeah. But if I'm calculating even the fertilizer has been yeah. done, so the weed is tied free uh -huh. and the labor. Sure. Of course you are doing it yourself. So. Uh, but when it there are moments where I invite people to come in when well, since the the weed grows faster and you need to clear it okay. within short period of time. But how much do you labor charge for clearing an income plant? Uh, with the labor, currently I'm hearing the one acre they are charging 400 cities. At the other side, where they are not doing irrigation. So, this side here, yeah, uh, we are here to talk about it. What would you advise someone who is coming to do um, Kakumba to be mindful of? Uh, I would say you have to prepare financially so that you'll be able to provide the needed input yeah so that it wouldn't be that your thing will be lacking on cucumber he likes manure uh -huh. so if you don't have enough that you put in enough manure for it then you wouldn't get anything so make sure you get your financially sound then you even though it doesn't cost much but you have to make sure you get enough that you provide the necessities yeah uh, comparing um, this one to other crops that you do is, which one is more profitable so we we'll talk about uh, green pepper green pepper is a more profitable one yet it takes a lot of money but i say it's more profitable you have to invest more Previously, we have exporters, but now they are not around, so we give it to our local market women. Okay. So, if someone needs maybe um, a bag of uh, kakuma, and uh, it needs it in Accra, you, can you also get it to them? Yeah, we do give it to car to send to them. Oh. Yeah. But at times, if you are busy with 
going to Rosa to transport it, it takes our time, so we find that stressful. But we do send to them at Accra. Can you give your number out so that if someone wants to consult on how to grow Kakumba and stuff, we can reach out to you? No, okay. My number is 0248 26 14 